Today on Outdoor Oklahoma, it's lights out as we discover not just bugs are attracted to outdoor lights in the summer, fish love them too. And we'll try our hand at some nighttime crappie and sand bass fishing at Eufaula using underwater lights, right now on Outdoor Oklahoma. From the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation, Outdoor Oklahoma. Well, hello and welcome to Outdoor Oklahoma. I'm Todd Craighead. I will be the first to admit that I'm what you would call, well, a fair weather fisherman. When it's beautiful outside like today, I'm the first one on the water. But in the middle of the summer, when that mercury rises, well, I don't enjoy being out in the heat that much. So I kind of avoid and miss that great summertime fishing. I'm like a lot of folks. However, today we're going to feature a couple buddies on Lake Eufaula that have found a way to still capitalize on the great summertime fishing and avoid the heat of the day. They're fishing at night, and this is not your typical fishing in the dark kind of situation. They're using underwater lights, and well, it's quite a spectacle to see. Today we had temperatures that were 98 degrees. You know, when you're guiding, you have a lot of clients that can't go this time of year uh, because it's too hot. So we get out early in the morning or, or we get out at night. What we're gonna do tonight is put the lights down, draw the bait fish in here, and uh, try to draw the, the, uh, the crappie in here. And of course, we'll have multiple fish in here. We wanna make sure I've got four poles on the right side here. My partner has four poles on the left. Now, this pole is gonna be about a foot off the surface of the water as this one, so on and so forth. We're gonna to try to get as maximum amount of spread between each bait. So we're gonna stick this pole straight out. We're gonna stick this one straight out and make sure we get the same length, same spacing away. Why? Because if we get four fish on at one time and they go different directions, then we're able to, to uh, deal with a lot less mess. So. As far as the baits, uh, you want the same, the same weight on each one, uh, whether that's all quarter ounce or all half ounce or all three quarters ounce. That way, if we do move, if the, if the boat sways to one side or the other, the weights, they move with each other, they're keeping your spacing. And that's, that's very important when you got multiple poles because people don't want to go out and have all kinds of tangles. Okay, one of the rigs that we, uh, that we use typically uh, when we're men fishing, uh, spider rigging or hole sitting or fishing brush, fishing timber, fishing um, bridges, whatever you're doing, and tonight we're fishing open water, uh, is the Kentucky rig, which is, a, I'll slide this first hook on, and then I'll slide the second hook on, hook on, because we're using double hooks. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this weight, and I'm using a half ounce sinker, because we're not gonna be fishing no deeper probably than uh, 12 to 14 foot tonight and I'm gonna tie a loop knot on the bottom. I just made a loop with the two main lines. I'm sorry, sometimes I do this fast. I slide the line through, I make a loop with the two main lines, and I take the weight in and out of the loop four times. I pull it down, because I want it a half inch away from the weight, and now I've got my loop knot. I tie bite off the excess or I'm not really, you're not really supposed to bite. If you got a knife handy, it's, it's a lot better deal. But I want this first hook, this bottom hook, to be exactly a foot away from this, this weight. So I put my left hand here and I'm gonna tie what they call a blood knot. I'm gonna put the hook in the middle of my hands. I'm gonna wrap, make a loop with the main line. And I'm gonna go around an even number of times. So I'm gonna go around seven, eight. I'm gonna take the hook put it back through the loop. Make sure it's an inch away from the main line and pull. This one up here, I'm gonna do the same thing, except I want it 18 inches away from the main line. Uh, uh, when we fish shallow uh, in two to six foot, we probably tie the hooks a foot apart. The deeper we go, the further we spread the hooks out. 
So this is going to be 18 inches. We're going to tie that same knot, a blood knot. We're going to make a loop with the main line. We're going to go over an even amount of time. And we're going to stick it back through. Just like that. And that's your Kentucky rig. That right there will fish through a brush pile. I got her. The most crucial thing tonight is going to be depth. Whether we're catching sand bass or whether we're catching crappie, whether we're catching big crappie, um, is, is depth is crucial. So we'll have to figure out the uh, first hour those fish will let you know where they want to be. conditions that we have. We have a water temperature that's above 85 degrees. When we have that, we, uh, the lake develops a thermocline. The thermocline is where the uh, warm water surface temp will be 90 degrees, meets the cooler water, and it's the oxygen belt in which the fish live. So what we do is we try to take these submersible lights, we put weights on the bottom, and this is a small one, and uh, we try to put it down right on top of the thermocline. So right now the thermocline can be uh, uh, and, uh, typically, a, a normal year in Eufaula, it would be somewhere around 18 foot, uh, probably no deeper than 20, uh, because Eufaula is considered somewhat of a shallow lake, unlike uh, maybe 10 killer of Broken Bow, where it's a lot deeper. Uh, but we have a, a, a foot long uh, submersible lock, and we also have these right here, which are two foot long, that, that, that obviously they put out a lot more light. Uh, and we will have uh, six different lights of these around the boat to draw as many bait fish as we can get in around us. Crappie, swing him to me in. Mm, this deep. one right here is typically, uh, see, he he wanted it. Thing is, you got to keep an eye out on them all the time because just as soon as when you look away is whenever you get hammered. Yes, sir. There's one. Swing him up. A little better. That's probably a 10 inch fish. Uh, another white crappie. And we're looking for those 12 to 14 inches tonight. That's that's probably a, oh, probably a nine inch fish right there. Uh, typically most lakes in Oklahoma, you gotta be 10 inches to keep them. Of course, we're on Ufala, we could keep him if we were fish hungry, so but uh, he's pretty small. We'll let him let him grow. Uh, usually, the wind stirs up the the plankton and the shad feed on the plankton, and the uh, and 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 not only the shad but the juvenile fish. When we fish, no matter what we're doing, it is always about the bait fish. So if you could educate yourself about movements of bait fish, you would be a much better fisherman. We're baiting out, uh, we, and, and you, you don't know how deep the crappie are, how deep the sand bass are, at, whatever you're fishing for. You have eight rods out, so you can, you can stagger your baits out, your, your depth. So you could have, I've got two rods at eight foot, and I've got two rods eight to 10 foot, and I've got two rods at, uh, 
at uh, 12 to 14 foot. Now if the fish are showing you how deep they want to be on the sonar, then you just put your baits down there at that depth. We, we like to hook them through the lips and we go bottom up through when it flows. We want the, the minnow to swim upright. Now if we'd have went from top to bottom, he would be swimming upside down and you would kill him. Uh, some people, if they're stationary, they'll hook them through the tail or to look like a, a wounded, wounded fish getting away. Now if we're fishing eight rods, we at least like to bring a pound of minnows. It's really good to run two hooks and as many, you know, four rods a piece whenever you're first looking for them, especially. Now, if you've got a lot of people, once you can get them found, then you can just go with a single hook on, and you just get everybody in that depth and you're in pretty good shape. Number one rule in crappie fishing is we never beg them to bite. You know, this deal right here, we're actually drawing the bait fish in and waiting them out. Any of the techniques we do, we, uh, they don't bite in the first, five or ten minutes we go we're gone to a different place but the second rule is if you're catching fish don't leave don't leave fish to find fish so but we live by those two main rules you know the three most popular you're going to catch is a you know crappie uh, usually quite a few sand bass and then an occasional catfish or two remember one night we was out till three in the morning and uh, well, we had a, we had an ice chest full of crappie and could have kept an ice chest full of sand bass. In fact, the only reason we left, we ran out of minnows and we had to go home. Sandy down deep. Guess what? Sand bass are deep. <laughs> Little bitty sand bass. In the summertime, uh, our lakes can stratify, and that means that we have warm water at the surface and we have cool water at the bottom of the lake. Uh, the cool water is at the bottom because it's more dense. That area in between the, the warm water at the top, which is uh, fully oxygenated, it stays oxygenated by wind uh, action and wave action. Um, that, that middle section is called the thermocline and there's a drastic change in temperature. Fish can often be found around this area because they need uh, the oxygenated water, but they don't necessarily like the warm uh, temperature that's associated with it. So they'll ride that line between the, uh, the upper portion of the lake and the lower portion around the thermocline. The reason that underwater lights uh, can be so effective at this time of year is um, uh, fish, uh, predatory fish, uh, naturally feed on, on prey fish. Um, those prey fish feed on things as well, microscopic organisms like plankton or phytoplankton. Um, at nighttime when there's no sunlight um, and you introduce an artificial light, those plankton can be attracted to that light, which then in turn uh, attracts bait fish uh, and then the bait fish attracts predatory fish. You know, a lot of times I hear non-fishermen saying that fishing is mostly just luck. Well, have you ever heard the expression that luck is where preparation and opportunity come together? And these guys today have certainly made their own luck with their preparation by creating a great opportunity to catch fish at night. Let's rejoin them down on Lake Eufaula. right over the main channel. It's just something that, you know, it's just one of them things that I have fished 
you know, the last two or three years, being over the main channel. Uh, we haven't had uh, too much experimentation. Uh, the only thing that we do like is the water clarity. You know, usually typically at night, it's gotta be somewhat clear. We don't like to fish uh, muddy water per se at nighttime. Not that you can't catch them. I mean, they do when you follow on different parts of the lake, but uh, you know, some guys prefer anchoring on drop-offs and some guys prefer, you know, anchoring on different depths, different times of the year, depending on how much you fish this way. But most people, you know, we're going out to the bridge, we're gonna anchor up in one of the piers and put the lights out and see what we can catch. They're hitting it every single time. Got two. Big crappie. There, I need to take this. I got a big crappie on. Well, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for right there. Big black crappie. That and about 13 inch black crappie right there. That's 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 typically what we want to catch. That's what you're fishing for right there. But uh nice fish. put two jigs on and now we're just jigging around because we've had waves after wave after wave of fish and there's been so many sand bass in here tonight that uh, you know and we're catching everything that's a drum <laughs> so we've caught we've caught uh, white crappie black crappie sand bass channel cat, blue catfish, and now a drum. We are getting bit, and if you go out and do this and you've got your kids out or family, it is fish catching action is what it is, whether you want to fish with minnows or you want to fish with your favorite cutter jigs. We would like to catch uh, those big crappie, and, and I think those they kind of come in here in spurts, you know, we then we could be here the next 15 minutes and load the boat up with them. Oh, big, big mama. They're getting bigger. Their stripes are going the wrong way from what we're looking for tonight.
You know, fishing at night with lights is not necessarily something new to Oklahoma. People have been doing it for generations with things like lanterns and, and car headlights floating on styrofoam. But technology has changed, making it a lot more fun and frankly, a little easier too. We'd encourage you to maybe try something new this year. Maybe it includes some nighttime fishing. For all of us at your wildlife department, thanks for joining us. We'll see you right here next time on Outdoor Oklahoma. Uh -huh.